Dr. Aisha and today we have taken a new topic that is plant extracts from Dravya Guna. Plant extract. Separation of medicinally active portions of the plant or animal tissue from the inactive or inert components by using selective solvents in standard extraction procedures. Introduction. The basic parameters influencing the quality of an extract are plant part used as starching material, solvent used for extraction and extraction procedure. Solvents. Solvent may be in liquid or gaseous form and edible or non-edible. If the solvent is non-edible, then it is evaporated after separation. If solvent is edible, then no need to evaporate it. On the basis of solvent used for extraction, it can be divided in three categories. Water soluble extract, alcohol soluble extract and ether soluble extract. Solvents Petroleum ether, fixed oils and phytoglycerols. Benzene, fixed oils and phytosterols. Chloroform, alkaloids. Acetone, phytosterols. Ethanol, carbohydrates and glycinoids. Saponin, phenolics, tannins, proteins, amino acids. Water, proteins, amino acids, glycosides, gums, etc. A property of a good solvent in plant extraction includes low toxicity, evaporation at low heat, promotion of rapid psychologic absorption of the extract, preservative action, inability to cause the extract to complex or dissociate. The factors affecting the choice of solvent are quantity of phytochemical to be extracted, rate of extraction, diversity of different compounds extracted, diversity of inhibitory compounds extracted, subsequent handling of the extracts, toxicity of the solvent in the biopsy process. These are all the methods included in the extraction process. So there are totally 10 methods. Infusion, decoction, digestion, macroration, percolation, continuous hot extraction, supercritical fluid extraction, counter current extraction, microwave assisted extraction, ultrasonication assisted attraction. First of all, we will learn about the first method, this is infusion. Fresh infusions are prepared by macerating a crude drug for a short period of time with cold or boiling water. These are dilute solutions of the readily soluble constituents of crude drugs. Types of infusions. First one is fresh infusion, for example, infusion of an orange. Second is concentrated infusion, for example, concentrated infusion of Russia. Second method is decoction. In this process, the crude drug is boiled in a specified volume of water for a defined time. It is then cooled and strained or filtered. This procedure is suitable for extracting water soluble and heat stable constituents. For example, tea and coffee. Third one is digestion. This is a form of macaration in which gentle heat is used during the process of extraction. So here we will use very less heat. It is used when moderately elevated temperature is not objectionable. The solvent efficiency of the menstruum is thereby increased. For example, extraction of morphine. Macaration. In this process, solid ingredients are placed in a stoppered container with the whole of the solvent and allowed to stand for a period of at least 3 days with frequent agitation until soluble matter is dissolved. The mixture is then strained, the mark pressed and the combined liquids clarified or by decantation after standing. So the steps involved in macaration are first plant material that is we will crush or cut small or moderately coarse powder. Then we will place it in a closed vessel. Then menstruum added and later all allowed to stand for 3 to 7 days shaking occasionally. Then all the liquid in it is strained off. And then the solid residue which remains which is called as mark pressed. And then strained and expressed liquid mixed. And then clarified by subsidence and filtration. After that, evaporation and concentration will take place. Fifth process is percolation. It is continuous downward displacement of the solvent through the bed of crude drug material to get extract. Most frequently used to extract active ingredients in the preparation of tinctures and fluid extracts. It is the method of short successive macaration or process of displacement. A percolator. 
here you can see the pick of a percolator it has a narrow cone shaped vessel open at both the ends so this is used for this process the advantages are it requires less time than maceration and extraction of thermoliable constituents can be possible disadvantages or demerits are requires more time than succhalation more solvent is required skilled person is required on the right side we can see the pics of a real time industry using percolator the difference between maceration and percolation in maceration time consuming and also extraction is not complete but in percolation it takes very little time and more complete extraction here it doesn't require skilled operator but for percolation skilled operator is required in maceration for certain substances which are very less soluble in solvent and requires only prolonged contact with solvent but in percolation special attention should be paid on particle size of the material and throughout the process here suitable method for less potent and cheap drugs whereas in percolation we use costly drugs sixth one is continuous hot extraction or succlet extraction continuous extraction of a component from a solid large amount of drug can be extracted with small quantity of solvent which is efficient faster and economic it is a cyclic process succlet extraction the merits are large amount of drug can be extracted with much smaller quantity of solvent tremendous economy in terms of time energy or ultimately financial input small scale use step batch process becomes more economical when converted into continuous extraction procedure on large scale while the demerits are physical nature of the drug solvent and chemical constituent of drug superficial fluid extraction extraction using this under controlled pressure and temperature for example carbon dioxide non toxic solvents no harmful residue is formed counter current extraction a liquid to liquid extraction process solvent and product flow in opposite directions crude drug is extracted with much smaller volume of solvent it is done at room temperature or warm temperature based on the nature that is thermoliable molecule microwave assisted extraction microwaves extraction operate at 2.45 gigahertz frequency microwaves possess electric and magnetic fields which enhance the diffusion efficiency less solvent consumption shorter operational time high recoveries and reproducibility for example taxanes from taxus brifolia needles antioxidative phenolic components from tomato 10th one is ultrasonication assisted extraction extract under ultrasound waves which has a frequency greater than 20 kilohertz solid and liquid particles are vibrated and accelerated so solute quickly diffuses into solvent it is less expensive simple and very efficient it increases the extraction and yield faster for thermoliable components it is applicable for example saponin glycoside from ginseng factors influence the extraction length of the extraction time solvent used the solvent to sample ratio ph of the solvent temperature and the particle size of the plant parts benefits of the extracts dose of drugs will be reduced we can get only active chemical constituent as per our need so by this method we can discard the unnecessary particle or inactive chemical constituents which are not necessary increase palatability of plant products rather than traditional formulations like swarasa kwatha etc long shelf life than other formulations water soluble extractive and alcohol soluble extractive value can be used for determine quality of the drugs thank you so i am dr aisha signing out thank you for watching this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all